You know, there's some people missing this weekend that would ordinarily be here. Um, folks like Still Friends and Annie Wentz. They're down still recovering from Ian and the destruction down on the west coast of Florida when that monster came through there. It always puts me in the mind of the, the most powerful hurricane to ever hit the North American continent. It happened Labor Day of 1935 down in the Keys. Uh, what is now Isla Brada, back then upper and lower Matacumbi Key. And like Katrina 70 years later, it happened where there were people that they weren't able to take care of themselves, they weren't able to, to fend for themselves for what was coming. When that storm came ashore the morning of Labor Day 1935, it was packing sustained winds, not gusts, sustained winds at over 200 miles an hour. Storm surge of over 18 feet at a place where the sea level was, they were just 18 inches above it to start with. Do the math. Um, those World War I vets that were camped there were washed away. Ernest Hemingway came up in his boat trying to find survivors and all he found was bodies. And he wrote articles and got an investigation started, but something about money came up and they forgot the whole thing and moved on. But that was before we named hurricanes, but we still remember it as Hemingway's hurricane. Hemingway lived down in Old Key West And he drank in the bars with Uncle Sam's best And when he heard how they died he flew off in a rage Feel a storm surge in His mighty pen roared at how they been betrayed. Oh, his mighty pen roared at how they been betrayed. It was Labor Day, 35. Pressure was falling on the right. Too little, too late, oh, there's 
Pressure was falling on the rising tide. 